Hi, doctors. My name is Dr. Kirk Gare, and I'm excited to share with you this new laser that Arconia has just come out with called the GVL. It's the first and only green and violet laser in the world. And we just got FDA clearance for this in September of 2022. And I've been using it in my office for a while now, and I was one of the principal investigators in the clinical trials to get this device an FDA clearance. And I've been using lasers since 2004, and I love the results that I've gotten since then but this one is on a whole other level. So let's jump in and share with you what some of those results are. And Arconia invited me to be one of the principal investigators on this device. And this is what we did. It was for this green and violet combination laser that I have right here. And this was for chronic neck and shoulder pain. We'll get into the details on this a little bit more, but I want to start with some of the results that we saw during our clinical trials. <clears throat> we were comparing our results to previous studies with the red and violet combination and with red only. And what we saw is that each time that you add in another true laser wavelength, not an LED, sometimes people will cut corners and do one that's a laser and one that's an LED. We're using two true collimated coherent lasers that each time we upped it, that we got better results. So for example, when we did the green and violet, the average duration of pain in the patients that we saw in the clinical trials between my office, Dr. Comey's office, and Dr. Robert Silverman's office was 89 months of pain. After a single 13-minute session, doing half of that time on one side, half on the other time, we saw an average percentage pain relief of 52% immediately after that treatment. That is literally, we would measure it one minute later, within one to five minutes later. Then we had patients do follow-ups at 24 hours and 48 hours, and what we saw also was that their pain improved an additional 65% improvement in their pain from the start of this single session to even two days later. And the improvement in range of motion was 32% on average in these uh, trials. And you can see with red only, it was 14%. Red and violet was 29. And green and violet was 32%. Look at that pain drop, you know, 43 with red only, 50% with red and violet, and 65% with green and violet. So there's really something big there with these results we were getting. And it actually was such a big result that it concerned me so much because I thought, hey, is there something that... I'm either doing wrong in the study or that patients are, you know, are, is there some type of a placebo effect going on here? Because these were wild at how big these drops were. And again, I was an experienced laser practitioner for a long time, but this is on an even bigger level to where I even contacted Travis Sammons, who was running the clinical trials for us. I said, Hey, Travis, I'm concerned that my results may be out of what the norm is in the other two uh, locations. And he told me, don't worry about it, man. They're getting the same kind of result. And these are also long-term laser practice practitioners as well, but there's something that combination of the violet and the green laser that takes these results to a whole other level. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. I do want to let you know about a couple of these patients that I had in the clinical trial that followed up with me with these long-term results. So one of the subjects, she was a female who was a college volleyball player and now a volleyball coach. For six years, she had chronic pain in her shoulder that affected her ability to play in college and affected her ability to coach. She'd had multiple sessions of PT, you know, cortisone injections, et cetera. We did that one 13 minute session and she had full range of motion at the end of it. And it's now been many months since we did the clinical trials and she still has full range of motion and she's still pain-free. Another patient who was in the clinical trials, he had played division one college football back in the eighties, suffered from chronic shoulder pain. He could only bring it up to about 110 degrees in abduction. And he had severe pain, like a seven to eight pain just every day with it. Did the one 13-minute session. I was not expecting this re reaction, but at the end of 13 minutes, and this was doing no soft tissue treatment, no adjustments, nothing, just the laser while we're doing some passive range of motion, he went up to 170 degrees of pain, uh, of range of motion, and his pain was down to about barely there too. He has maintained that range of motion, and uh, he's also kept his pain low, and that's been many, many months since we've done the clinical trials. So these are some of the cool things that we saw. So